Okay, today uh, what we'd like to do is introduce you to our new BSS Lin Com Tester Box. Uh, this is Registar's Mobiltron's new test box, and it checks air, all the BSS and Lin regulators on the market as of today. So what we're going to demonstrate, we have our alternator uh, set up on our test bench, and we have the regulator on external so we can get to the connections easy and demonstrate the box so this is um, how everything would be set up um, for the test on your alternator test bench so first what we're going to do is um, demonstrate that you have different lens settings you got three different lens settings the uh, three um, byte and four byte um, rate and the baud rate of 9600 and 19200k and we have three different bolt settings our test box has four different error codes and we'll demonstrate how this box operates and performs um, with the, this first regulator is the lin regulator now the pcm on the vehicle will um, has different voltage range from 12.7 all the way up to 16 volts we just chose three to show the communication that the regulator is accepting the signal and the communication and changing the, the operation of the regulator just like it would on the vehicle so we're going to start up the test bench here you'll see the alternator test bench light come on the box comes on and it goes out showing that the, the handshake and the communication has been accepted by the, the regulator from the box where you take the load off we run it up to about 4,000 rotor RPMs, and we demonstrate here that the, uh, the regulator's first uh, bolt setting is 13.5. Okay, he, uh, Dave just changed the bolt setting, the communication from the, uh, the box to the regulator, and you notice that the voltage has changed to 14.5. Now we're going to demonstrate he's going to change the bolt setting to the third setting. It accepted the, uh, the signal and the voltage you see changed to 15.5 that the communication is working in the box and the regulator is communicating back and forth. Now we're going to remove the stator wire and when we remove that it's just like an open circuit. Dave removes the stator wire. You see that the test bench light comes on. The voltage drops off. The alternator is not charging, and we have an error code of EO2. Okay, Dave's going to hook the stator wire back up. And you notice the error code went off, and the voltage uh, turned back on. The alternator started communicating with the regulator, or the, the test box started communicating with the regulator, and everything's functioning properly. Now, now what Dave's going to demonstrate is that we're going to disconnect the lens signal from the box to the regulator. And you see that uh, the error code light come on for miss, uh, no communication, and the regulator does go into a default mode now, a 14.2. That is the default mode's uh, voltage setting. So he's gonna connect it back up. The error code light goes out starts communicating with the regulator again. We have the volt setting at 15.5, and you see that our voltage on our uh, test bench is at 15.5. That demonstrates the LIN regulator. Thank you very much.